Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you are brand new. And if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is talking about long-term planning with Trello. Now, it's really, really kind. This video has been fully sponsored by Trello themselves, which is amazing. It's amazing to have them support the Keep Productive community and push their message of getting organized and getting focused in 2018. So it's going to be really exciting today. We're going to dive into a few different ways that you can use Trello to plan in terms of long-term planning and sort of medium-term planning as well. So we'll go into a few examples, share a few templates, and go into detail. But I just wanted to thank Trello for sponsoring this video and keeping the Keep Productive community running. So guys, just before we get started, make sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification to get regular videos on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. So guys, as you can imagine, long-term planning in the start of 2018 is a very valuable thing to have. And obviously, using a tool to help keep you get organized is very useful. As we all know, Trello is a resource out there that can help you keep organized. I know a lot of you guys use it. I use it as well as a way to just keep myself planning for long term and even short term as well. Uh, it has a really flexible structure with boards and cards that can help you keep organized. Uh, that's for those who are brand new and sort of a bit new to Trello. The boards and cards are a great way to add more detail, provide you with uh, lots of different functions inside of those ones that we'll talk about in this video. So the way I sort of think about long-term planning for me is anything past three months, like anything three months to five years is really long-term planning for me. Uh, I remember when I was like at university and I was even in like school before, like in high school, I would use the likes of Trello to plan long-term, like I would have all of my ideas for what I would do when I was older and, uh, and sort of grow that out. And obviously this was sort of on the plan. <laughs> it was amazing to have that progress and see the potential vision that I was working towards. And I can imagine that's the same for you. And long-term planning doesn't necessarily mean for you guys to set this five-year vision goal to be like get to there or do something, but it can be useful for different aspects that are long-term focused. So for example, you could use it for career planning, uh, you could use it for weddings, events, projects that you might have on at work, personal projects that you're running on the side, hobbies or interests that you have, or even content or creation that you're working on in your spare time. All of these different aspects are very useful and you can use the likes of Trello to plan around all of them. So let's start with a goal that might be a little more short term for you. So for example, I'm getting married in like six months now. Let's say you have a six month window with a hobby or project you're working on. So let's say you have that goal that's three to six months. So what you might wanna do with that three to six months target is to weekly plan and have a vision of what you need to get done week on week. Mainly because three to six months away, still far away, it still feels far away, but weekly actions seem to be like reasonable. For example, you might not want to have daily actions on there if it's three to six months. You might want to have those weekly actions because each week it builds up to those three months. You know, technically it would only be like 12 weeks to 24 weeks. So as you can see, it starts building up. Now a Trello board that would be useful is to have a week breakdown all the way until the deadline day. Whether it's a project or activity, you can section off different things that you need to get done inside of that. And the cards ability helps you to go in, make checklists, assign it to other people, and even add due dates and things like that that can help you to action all of the items. So if you're setting a three to six month goal, I think weekly actions are a great way to take it on board. So let's jump forward a little bit more. Let's say you've got a marathon that is eight months away and you're like, okay, this is a little longer than six months and I need a slightly modified way of doing that. Because obviously week by week, you might have a stupidly long board or you might feel overwhelmed because you see all of these tasks planned out. But actually having a simple uh, board that allows you to add lists inside it that correlate maybe to monthly targets can really help you. I know when I've seen a project or activity that I need to get done in eight months over a long period of time, maybe when I created this YouTube channel, I would break it down into monthly targets because I knew that there would only be eight lists there and that would be a lot more 
like comfortable, a lot easier to take on than maybe, you know, hundreds of lists going along. But let's just pause here. Let's say you've got a medley of goals that you have running at the same time and you just want to use one board for all of that. Now you can, you can organize lists inside to plan out each of your targets. You can pop a card at the top of your board that indicates the goal and use all of the cards below as your tasks or projects based inside of that goal to help you get them done. Now this can be a really nice way to section off all of your activities uh, and all of your goals and keep them all under one roof to help keep you focused and targeted towards the goal. But let's just say you have one goal and it's only gonna take you maybe 30 to 45 days depending on the completion of the project. Now I have something like this at the moment which is a Go Skills course that I'm creating and you know, it's gonna take me like a month, I know it. So what I might do is break it down into progressive like lists that I have on certain items. So you can use the classic Kanban layout. For example, using the to do, doing, done can be a really dead simple way. And you can even add to that if you want, maybe even like almost there, uh, need to get done, you know, all of those different details into the Kanban layout to make it even more personalized to your structure. So let's take another example. Let's say you've set yourself yearly goals. Uh, let's say you've self, you set the, let's say you set yourself New Year's resolutions. Now New Year's resolutions is, is probably one of the biggest things that happens in January. A lot of people start and maybe by February time sort of end them. But having a tool dramatically changes that. And I'll tell you why. Because a lot of the time, uh, if you've written something down or you've clarified it and it made it accountable with someone else, it becomes a lot harder to break that promise. Whether it's to your tool that you're using or a person, actually making yourself accountable and saying, I didn't do that because of that is a lot harder. I know that when I've set certain targets and I've told other people, it's maybe felt a lot uh, you know, more focused towards getting it done because then I'm like, oh no, I've put myself in it. Damn it, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to go ahead with that. So as you can imagine, setting New Year's goals is very important and using a tool for that can be beneficial. Inside of Trello, what I recommend is potentially doing monthly targets and actually separating them to 12 lists and having targets inside all of that month, actionable targets. And what I mean by actionable targets is actionable targets. A lot of people I know in 2018 will probably set themselves learn French as a goal. And learn French is a brilliant target to have. What an amazing target, but it's not actionable. It's not like learn French. I mean, okay, bonjour. Maybe I've learned it. Obviously not that, but as you can imagine, setting yourself more clarified targets will help you to improve your success rate. So for example, let's say in March time, you set yourself a 15 minute Skype call with this French native basic conversational French, but you've got to go out there and actually do it, learn the basic conversational French, and then apply it to the Skype call with that person. You could use italki or something like that, but it just provides you with a really strict target to go away and do. And you can put that in the March bundle and it's a more actionable item. And then everything maps to that. Then yourself, you set yourself a six month target of maybe 30 minutes of advanced conversation and everything in that maps to that. So make it actionable, make it really detailed. When I try and set long-term goals, I tend to set them very strictly. So I'll say, I'll give it a number or I'll give it a date or I'll give it this and that and it provides me with, with a window to see exactly what I need to do and it tends to improve the success rate of that. Now, as you can imagine, in 2018, you, you, you'll start lots of different projects, you'll start lots of different activities, and of course, you can have a board for your goals and activities, but you can have lots of different boards for different things as well. So, for example, let's say you, you decide, I'm gonna kick a blog off this year, or even vlog. An editorial calendar inside of Trello can be very beneficial to organizing that. I have my editorial calendar inside of Trello, and I allow all of my community to access it as well, put recommendations on, it's a useful way to visualize everything there. Another good way to use Trello in 2018 is to is take advantage of the image abilities and maybe set yourself a weekly meal planner. Now, I know that a lot of people use the boards and actually write them down, brilliant, but if you wanna take it digital, you wanna take it on your mobile, then uh, weekly meal planners can be good. You can pin all of the uh, meals or visuals uh, that you want to have there and make this really gorgeous meal planner that just looks fantastic. And finally, if 
you're a freelancer, for me, I use the all-in-one window that I have that visualizes all of my clients and those who I'm working with uh, for the month. And it's very useful to see that all at a glance. There are a few features inside of Trello that make this really uh, a really useful uh, thing to have in terms of having all of your targets, goals, and boards along one roof, uh, especially because the features allow you to access that. So one of the features is offline mode, which works really, really well. And now they've introduced it on mobile, it makes it so easy. So if you want to access all of your goals offline, you can just download the mobile apps and have it all there. And the great thing as well is they have the background abilities with the, with the new Unsplash, so you can actually download backgrounds for all of your different areas. So let's say you've got a weekly meal planner, you can have all the food in the background, and even in the, in the editorial calendar, you can have videos, etc., in the background. So it just makes it even more customized to your all your awesome goals for next year. So guys, I hope that gave you great ideas for 2018. I'm going to include all of the information in the description below, so you can go away there and find everything and download it all and use it as templates and things like that. So feel free to check it out there. I just wanted to thank Trello before we went for sponsoring today's feature. Uh, they seem to be really focused next or this year it will be now, uh, on the 2018 New Year's resolution, setting yourself the goals and things you want to do in 2018. I know that in 2018, I've set myself really some big goals and I just find it like a really beneficial process. Naturally, I set goals like pretty much every three months anyway, so it's like having a new year every three months, but I find it useful in the new year as well when I, I love to see everyone else setting and aiming for their own targets. So guys, I really appreciate you stopping by today. I hope that it was useful. I hope that you got everything you need out of it. I, I will be doing another video about New Year's resolutions very soon, so feel free to stay tuned for that one. Anyway guys, just before we go, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notification for regular videos. It'd be great to have you back for another video. But if I don't see you, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.